NASA is claiming that on August 10th, 2019, yes, that's next week, the asteroid dubbed 2006 WQ23, which is 1,870 feet in diameter and some 36 stories larger than the 1,450 foot tall Empire State Building, is quote unquote expected to miss Earth. However, is also considered quote unquote potentially hazardous. So, it hasn't gotten this close to our terrestrial home, according to the data from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. Uh, here's the problem with that. The orbital data software being used is a two-body method, and hence should not be used for determining accurate long-term trajectories or planetary encounter circumstances. I mean, so the question really is, how accurate is this data? And how close is this asteroid going to come to hitting the Earth? And potentially, can it? Well, these are actual pictures of this gigantic rock hurtling towards the Earth right now. Uh, that should be here on August 10th, I believe, around 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so, yeah, the thing is huge. We're talking about skyscraper size. So if it is just expected to miss Earth on August 10th, what happens if it doesn't? I mean, it is totally possible that we might not know if this thing's going to hit us, but maybe just a day or so before it actually connects with the Earth's crust. So what would an asteroid bigger than the Empire State Building do to the Earth upon collision? Well, as you can imagine, it's bad. All right, so when it comes to asteroids, size matters. Um, so something like the size of a car, it's probably going to break up, but it could blow up in the atmosphere, causing sunburns and even like breaking windows and you know causing some mass destruction just on that level. Uh, something the size of a house could take out um, easily a city. Um, something the size of what we're talking about here, though, with this, you know, over half a mile long rock could literally take out something like the size of Virginia um, and it has sh earth shattering effects. We're talking a dust cloud that would change the climate and uh, potentially cause a survival situation across the entire globe. Um, anything bigger than that and you're looking at just complete destruction, no life will be able to survive uh, just due to the climate change and the uh, the atmosphere itself. So what if NASA's wrong? Are you ready if NASA's wrong? I'm going to try to be. Do you have a bug out bag or at least a survival plan? Uh, in the description below you're going to find some survival gear and knowledge links uh, that may save you and your family. Uh, I hope you take a look at them. I uh, hope you are watching the skies and uh, keeping your ear to the grindstone. God bless. Good luck out there.